Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American living in Germany. Today I have Few and the Flaming Lips. Cool bottle, isn't it? This is called the Brainville Rye Whiskey. So, um, a little bit to the backstory here. Justin Helfton. He was a fan of few as well as the flaming lips as a music i think producer as well as also a graphic artist he contacted paul heltko in evanston illinois the owner proprietor and also master whatever blender distiller there at few and said hey would it be possible to have some type of cooperation and it happened he designed justin um helfton the label, and um, Paul said 5,000 bottles. That's it. And they're supposed to be spicier and more assertive than the normal few. Now, this is the point that I don't understand. Now, the normal few rye has 46.5%. If you can find it in the States, in Europe, we can also find it over here in Germany, you're paying $40, $48 for it. Very, very difficult here in Europe, but in the States, still possible. There's a few cast strength with 58.6%. I think it runs around $86 to $92, somewhere around that. Depends on what state you're in. And then I get this. This is few flaming lip lips with 40%. Less than the normal few rye. And what does it cost? Over here in Europe, it costs 194 euros, which would translate back into a little bit more than dollars. But over $100, why? Why do you pay more for less? Well, first of all, you pay more for less because it has a cool label. Second of all, you pay more for less because it's a collector's edition. Limited edition, 5,000 bottles. As Paul Heldko said, when they're gone, they're gone. And so as a type of cooperation with the Flaming Lips, um, the, the band that was started in Oklahoma City that's been doing that's played for over 30 years on the stages all over America and probably the world. Um, and their song on the album Clouds Taste Metallic, Brainville, they named it after that. The lead singer, Wayne Cohen, actually said that when he tasted the whiskey, that he kind of felt um, that, turned, that it almost turned it into a werewolf. And he said, who doesn't want to be a werewolf? So... Everything's made, um, it's organic, it's kosher even, everything with few. And um, the normal mash bill, 70% rye, rye, 20% corn, 10% malted barley, nothing different there. Everything sourced within 150 miles of Everston, Illinois. And even the barrels are made there up in Minnesota. And so the 5,000 bottles here is the selling argument, the, the, United, the unique selling proposition or proposition. And um, they use this normal French wine yeast that they use in everything else. Nothing's really, really special about this, except for those few casts that they picked out to use this and the limited edition. So, is it worth 100 plus? Let me see. I have a lot of yeast in my nose. Wow, that's a lot. I really get a nose full of yeast. There's some rye rye bread very very wet rye bread germans are good at making rye bread by the way and a little bit of the wood now to be very honest this nose is not the best nose in the world i love nosing a good whiskey i mean 20 minutes without even thinking about drinking it if it's a good nose it's a very typical few rye nose. I've tasted the normal rye. I've had the cast strength rye. I've had the, ooh, what was very, very good was a special edition from, um, oh, I got this. This is a little sample. I paid about seven euros for this, um, about eight bucks. And it's Drinks by the Dram, which is Masters of Malt from London, from England. And um, they actually bought a bottle, divided up into these little tiny little samples and sold them all over Europe. And um, they, the Masters of Malt, also have their own little label. It's called That Boutique. And they put the little Y after the hyphen. 
and they bought a bottle, I'm sorry, a, a, a barrel or two of few two-year-old, and they filled it up in these little 500 milliliter things, bottles, and they, it was cast strength as well. It was, I think, even 60%, and it was so good. It was the best few whiskey I've ever had, that they could pick those barrels and get just the right one. It was so good. After you put a little bit of water into it, you watered it down to maybe about 50%. Oh, that was great. I really, really, really enjoyed it. And Few has a great future. They're still, in my opinion, Whiskey Jason, they're still learning. They're still in the process of perfection, perfectionizing to, 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 to perfect their entire process. And within the next, I'm going to say, after considering also the aging process, but within the next five to maximum eight years, this stuff is going to be great. But right now, not everything is great. And this is not great. It's mediocre. The nose is, as I said, wheaty, doughy, rye doughy, and a little bit of wood, but not much else. It's not really, really good. Now, let's try it. 40%, remember? Now, 40% should mean very, very smooth, almost light. Especially after you use the 46.5% that the normal few rye has. So, Hmm. Wow. It's not light. It's hot. I've had hotter, but it's really hot. Uh, spicier, I don't know. Um, more assertive, yes. Definitely more assertive than the normal rye. So, um, in German, I did a mega rye super challenge that I taste tested, taste tested 28 different, is that correct? No, 24 different um, rye whiskeys. It was six, 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 and I took the best of each, the best two of each um, round, and I qualified them for the final, so I had eight at the end. I had actually opened one of these, I had opened this bottle because I didn't have any rye in the home in my home, and so I tasted this first. It just absolutely lost. It was the last of the whole eight that I had there. It's not a great whiskey. Um, Jim Beam Rye tastes much better than this. But there's a potential. There's something there that's being masked by something else, and I would really like to get to the heart of this and have that come out and develop and just take over and get rid of the, all that bad, hot whiskey, the alcohol that's on top here. Also, in my hand, I try to do what I taste. Comes in, there's a little bit of clover. My grandfather had a farm and he sometimes had clover. And in German we have clover honey, mmm, good stuff. Well then the alcohol kicks in, but then the wood is there. The wood turns a little sour, a little bitter, and then the alcohol comes back in. Then everything gets out of there and then comes this nice part at the end, especially also when it, the aftertaste is fairly decent, but it's not anywhere near a 159 euro bottle of whiskey, no. And especially not a 159 euro bottle of rye American whiskey. No. Uh, oh. So I always give my whiskeys a um, grade. And I'm going to give this a C minus. I also give it a value for money. And that's going to be a W. <laughs> I know we don't have that. A, B, C, D, E, F, W. It's just terrible. I would never, ever recommend buying this bottle, unless you're not going to open and save it as a collector's item. Just to look at this bottle and go, look, I have a Flaming Lips bottle from Few. Collector's item, limited edition. Would you like to buy it? It's only $350. 
I paid 150 but you know, collector's edition. That's the only thing I would do. Do not open this. Do not drink this. Do not buy this to drink. Go out and buy the normal few rye. I would recommend buying the few rye for cast strength. I would recommend coming over to Europe and buying the that boutique few two year. That was fabulous. Or anything else from few, but keep away from this stuff. Not my recommendation at all. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of American. That was my opinion. What's your opinion? Write it down in the comments. Contact me. And maybe we can get into a conversation about few. I still have a lot to learn. I've tried most of the products, but still nothing yet has really, really convinced me that they are the best. But I hope that they will be one day or be one of those that are in the best top 10 of the independent or small artisan distilleries in the States. Thank you for watching. Like my videos. Tell others about this crazy American that lives in German that refuses whiskeys. And also, please, please, please um, subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.